friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and in today's video I'm finally filming my 2A reflection that I usually like to film after every term of school. I'm now on my fourth week of co-op so I think it's good that I film this video a bit later because I can talk a little bit about how my courses have reflected my day-to-day -day job. Uh, this video I'll talk about my courses, how I liked living in Waterloo, and a little bit about my co-op experience and finding a job. I'm gonna film a video that goes more into detail of how I found a job and tips and advice because I know first years are gonna be applying soon. All right, so this term I took five courses again, but I'm not gonna lie, my electives were pretty easy this term. Once again, I was trying to fill my requirements, so I took a lot of like easier chill courses. So the courses I took were SBCOM 225, I also took NGL 108D, STAT 230, CS 245, and CS 246. So now I'll go a little bit more into detail of each one of the courses and how I found them. All right, so first, my easier courses, SPCOM 225 was a really chill course. It's an interviewing course or preparing you for interviews, which was nice because I was doing interviews while I was taking the course. So I could kind of reflect what I learned in the course to use during my interviews. But once I finished interviewing like early June, that course kind of became useless because I wasn't really applying to jobs anymore. So I wasn't using my interviewing skills, but it was okay because I was still able to submit my resume and get feedback for it. Um, I really liked it because my prof was really nice and it wasn't a lot of commitment per week. I think I roughly put one to three hours of work every week. There was weekly quizzes, weekly readings, and a few assignments here and there. The next course I took was NGL 108D. This was also another course to fill out my humanities requirements, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that, but I did take this course to fill out a requirement once again. Um, this course is also really chill. I really enjoy this course. It focused a lot on digital media and how social media interacts with our everyday lives. And it was a really fun course and I liked the readings a lot. I also had weekly participation marks, which was worth 40% of my mark overall, which was a lot, but also something really easy to complete. This course I had bi-weekly or monthly reflections and a final essay at the end and throughout the course we had participation marks. Super easy course. I would say I roughly put like three to five hours a week because some weeks I did do the readings and some weeks I would like skim through the readings so yeah, I would highly recommend this course. The next course I took was STAT 230 which is probability. I took data management in high school and I found the content that we were learning up until the midterm very similar to what I was learning in high school. So I really enjoyed it up until there. But after the midterm, I found it pretty challenging. And also I lost a lot of motivation for just like school in general. So I didn't put as much effort as I wanted to. This course had three big assignments that was related to the programming language R and they were each worth 5%. And we also had like bi-weekly quizzes that were each worth 5% as well. The quizzes weren't too bad. They dropped the lowest quiz. And we also had a final exam and a midterm as well. Um, overall, this course wasn't too bad. I do wish I put in a lot more effort. Make sure you start the assignments early because they are they were pretty long. There were like three questions, but they each had parts A to like I. So yeah, make sure you start the assignments early. That's what I always say, <laughs> but make sure you do it. The next course I took was CS 245, which is Logic in Computation. I personally didn't mind this course. The course that I found this course most similar to was Math 135, but I found CS 245 a bit easier because there was less proofs. But yeah, this course was a bit boring, the material was dry, and the lecture notes weren't the best. And by the way, all my courses were asynchronous, so I had to spend my own time to go through them. But the biggest advice I can give for this course is that near the end, the assignments 
get very long so one advice that i can give is go to tutorials because the tutorials that i went to they give a lot a lot of hints and like really good hints so make sure you go to tutorials because without tutorials i wouldn't have gotten a lot of the questions correct but yeah and one thing to mention is that this course had no coding so it was very similar to math course like math 135 where you have weekly assignments a final exam and a midterm so there was no coding do expect to do a lot of proofs and like formal deduction there was a lot of those so yeah no no coding but a lot of math and finally the last course that i took was cs246 object oriented programming and i left this course last because i feel like i had a love hate relationship with this course i found it very very useful because now that i'm on co-op i'm using a lot of things that i learned in that course so it's a very useful course but it was hard like i found it very very challenging the first three assignments i didn't find it too bad but assignments four and five i couldn't really finish on time part of that is because it was my fault because i didn't start the assignments as early as i would like to you learn a lot of fundamentals of object oriented programming in this course and a lot of different design patterns which is super important in the workforce as well and you spend a lot of time on testing which is something that i even do at work right now and at the beginning of the course we spent a little bit of time on linux and bash so we learned a bit of bash scripting which was really cool and i still use that at work so i learned a lot of important concepts in this course and it's definitely a course that you shouldn't just skim through and really put an effort because now that I'm on co-op, I'm like, wow, this was useful. This course has five major assignments, each worth 10 to 18%. So they're worth a lot. There was no midterm or no final exam. There was just a big group project worth 30% of your mark. You could either work in a group or solo. Yeah, so now that I talked a lot about my courses, I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about like Waterloo, the city, the university, and things to do. But moving out, I would really highly recommend doing if you have the chance because you learn a lot about yourself and you learn a lot about important things of life. Paying your rent, doing laundry, cleaning, cooking, it makes you appreciate your parents more too. I learned a lot about cooking, cleaning, all that because when I lived at home, um, my parents did all that for me. So I was really lucky, but also moving out taught me a lot about that. I did eat a lot of frozen food, I'm not gonna lie. Some days I didn't wanna cook, I didn't wanna do anything, and I had a lot of school to do, so I would put like a frozen pizza in. Um, I learned a lot of new recipes and dishes. My go-to was pasta, of course. But yeah, I would really recommend if you have the chance to move out. I also lived with two of my closest friends, which was really nice. I also have a huge, massive checklist of items to bring while you're moving out because I created that when I was moving out. So I would love to share it with you guys. So I put that in the description box. So if you're moving out, make sure to check out that list. All right, now the city. There's no beaches, which I'm disappointed about because I love going to the beach and to the lake. Um, there isn't like a single one. I think the closest one is like a 30 minute drive to Guelph. Um, which is kind of disappointing. Anyways, um, so yeah, I didn't do much like outdoorsy hikes or anything. I don't even know if there's hikes in Waterloo. There's a very beautiful park called Waterloo Park. Um, there's animals and the field is huge and very nice. Um, Rumi and I also once went out and did like kind of like a picnic and then we sat and watched a movie together. Also the first two months that I was there, May and June, Waterloo was still in lockdown so I couldn't really explore much. Um, but after lockdown, my roommates and I, my friends and I, we went to restaurants more often, patios, um, and there was a couple of good, really good restaurants. The name of the restaurants in the description box because I kind of created a list, um, but I would highly recommend you check those out. There's also a really good bubble tea place called Now Tea. It's only local in Waterloo, and it's really, really good. The brown sugar tapioca, so good. I really, really like the Waterloo pool. It's small, it's cute, but 
you can get a nice workout in and it's not that busy. Also similar to the gym, um, it can get busy sometimes, but um, it's not that busy. I went to gym a couple of times, but near the end of the term in like August, I remember swimming every single day and I met a lot of cool people at the pool. Um, so yeah, Waterloo people are really, really nice. Don't be afraid to just like start a conversation with someone and you never know, you might become good friends. I also went rock climbing. But if you have any recommendation of places to go or restaurants, to eat make sure to comment them down below because I'm sure myself and other people would love to know more too because I've only been there for like four months so if you've been there for longer make sure to comment down places that you've been to but yeah that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below or message me on Instagram I love chatting with you guys but until next time I will talk to you guys later bye everyone